Hello, boys and girls. My name is Alta C, and welcome back to another day in Minecraft episode 100. And for this special number, I have planned something special. It will also be the last episode of uh, this season of uh, Minecraft. So it's kind of like a, a world tour, uh, but not uh, like the one I did uh, 50 episodes ago. Uh, this time I want to focus on the things that I'm proud that I achieved in this world. And I have categorized them in three categories. One being redstone. Uh, that uh, contains everything uh, that I have come up in the in the redstone department. So uh, original ideas or uh, solutions. Uh, then the second category, maybe the largest ones, is the uh, the buildings, the structures that I have uh, designed because I have set the goal at the beginning of this series that I want to improve my building skills. And looking behind me, uh, I think uh, this was this was achieved, yes. And then the final category is landscaping, uh, something that was not even on my list uh, when I when I started. Uh, but we uh, squeezed it in anyway. So let's go to our first destination for redstone. Here in the basement of our nether tree farm, there are quite a few contraptions uh, that I have come up originally and in the process of looking at these uh, we will also figure out where why there are not too many in this category but one thing here is the priority merge here i have on the hopper line uh, bone meal comes from the main line over there but then we also uh, produce a bit of bone meal over on this side and uh, uh, we want to feed this bone meal uh, before using anything else. So we have a comparator here uh, looking at this hopper. If this hopper is full, uh, we detect this by this mechanism subtracting uh, the signal from here. Uh, from a full signal, we get something out and then extend this redstone block which basically locks this hopper beneath so uh, the bone meal only flows from this side then over here on this side uh, this is a counter and uh, i'm not entirely sure how that uh, uh, actually uh, works anymore uh, but basically every time we get a, a signal uh, down here this is this block is lifted we get a signal through uh, and basically uh, count one block over uh, and uh, I think this hopper then is powered so nothing flows back and uh, then I would assume we do the same thing uh, the other way around and finally here on this side uh, this is a delay clock uh, we get one signal in and due to the fact that uh, um, well the signal reaches these two positions in the same tick but uh, they are processed uh, uh, 
one after the other uh, the piston extends or retracts first before we get the signal through here and when we get the signal uh, through here we get one short output signal and uh, we have one line going over here with max delay and then one over here with min delay and that basically prolongs the signal a bit before going up there uh, same thing could also be uh, achieved with a comparator decay clock. So uh, this is a good example why there is not much uh, stuff in this category. As uh, redstone there is not too much uh, novelty that you can can do and if you do you come up probably with a solution that's not uh, that optimal uh, there are better heads than myself that uh, have found better solutions the most advanced uh, redstone build that i have come up is this here which is part of our huge tree farm and this is a state machine that can store at the current state uh, the farm is in uh, and i created this because there are so many variables uh, that uh, influence what should happen next uh, which uh, created very uh, thickly redstone uh, contraptions uh, with um, uh, signal lengths and delays uh, that basically uh, can constantly break so having this state machine here to figure out uh, where in which state the machine actually is and then combine that part uh, together with an input signal to create an output signal that triggers the next action uh, seems much more easy. If you uh, are wondering how this all works, I have a special tutorial video, uh, so check the link up there in the cards. The next and also last redstone thing that I want to show you is here in this little hut or more exactly below it. Here we have a slime block launcher uh, that uh, can launch us from down here all the way back up and the way it works is uh, there is a series of uh, slime blocks that extend out of the wall and uh, accelerate the player upward and the redstone is not that complicated it's just a matter of timing uh, extending the pistons out of the wall and then um, extending the dose so uh, there's a mechanism behind there to uh, extend the pistons and then from this side uh, we get the, the power for the p extended pistons to shoot the player up like this et voila we're back up this slime launcher is part of the uh, ink farm uh, which is covered by a quite cute rendering of, uh, of a squid here. Uh, also the, the teeth are a bit uh, intimidating uh, but that's not all of it because then here on this side we have this uh, cute little uh, 
Swedish uh, uh, summer house out at the pond um, with a fire pit uh, hanging out in the night and then back on this side there is a bit of, uh, of a flower garden uh, encased in here and we have even a few bees around here um, so yeah and from here we can already see the next thing this is the uh, huge dragon project that took me uh, quite a while uh, to to finish uh, and frankly it's it's massive but that's almost uh, all that it is it was just something that was on my uh, uh, to-do list and uh, at least I wanted to do uh, this um, uh, uh, while I uh, neglected to do a few of the uh, other six. So yeah, it's not massively detailed, uh, uh, but uh, I think it uh, helped me uh, uh, come along in my building. This stable, which was one of the first building after leaving the uh, starter area uh, almost two and a half years ago, I think, think it's still quite nice. Uh, all the details I put in here, uh, that's, that was uh, far above my uh, usual build style at that point and I think still this upholds now and here also the meadow for the cows not too overcrowded with a with a trough uh, for the water from one of the oldest buildings to one of the last ones i put in uh, in place here uh, this uh, building around the swamp flower farm i really like the the style the build uh, how it came out I'm very uh, creative um, what i don't like uh, as much is i cannot figure what uh, this building actually it, it is it started out as uh, or the idea started out as a water tower but as you clearly can see um, that's not what this is it has more a sinister alien like uh, vibe to it next on the list is the bridge towards this castle tower and uh, this is probably one of the first builds that uh, I created in uh, creative first that actually has come out uh, the better for it uh, you can see here at the top there is a lot of uh, details going in here and then we have two pillars going all the way down into the uh, abyss, the bottom of the world. Um, so lower parts, not that interesting, uh, uh, but uh, you mainly look at, uh, at the upper part here and behind the slime, you cannot really see it now at the same time, uh, but there are some lights uh, behind there. So it actually shines through in the night then right here next to the castle our lovely home uh, mediterranean inspired built with uh, a sandstone and uh, for this one i also went out and did interior here with uh, uh, dining room set up back here 
we have a kitchen uh, with various uh, uh, utensils uh, and things that go on here then here half empty uh, bookshelves the living room with a plush uh, carpet here on the floor uh, fireplace and then uh, upstairs a small bedroom uh, with a study and on the back side here we have a grilling pit with an outdoor dining area. Very early on uh, I created this container ship to house the villagers uh, but soon it became too small and I created a second oil tanker here on the side and uh, this one tied in nicely uh, with the uh, spar platform we have out here for our uh, uh, gunpowder farm actually and this build uh, it was not a copy of something that already existed but I had certainly a look at the various uh, 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 platform builds and took inspiration from there but I think on the whole the way this turned out uh, it's one of the better builds uh, in this world next up are some buildings here in our farming district and we start off with this cactus farm uh, which is entirely built or mostly built out of a stand sandstones different variants uh, we have the different stories we have different intentions uh, so uh, i think that quite mimics quite well uh, existing building that uh, we find in cities around then uh, over here on uh, this side uh, we have the uh, farming tower if i can land on here somewhere uh, which was inspired by uh, an architectural design uh, and trying to come up with uh, something that works with Minecraft with the, uh, the the carpet here as a horizontal line breaker I think that works quite well um, as a building per se it's maybe more bit of of a showcase than anything uh, practical but i quite like the way it it turned out with the with the different uh, materials quartz of course then carpet um, and rods and the the ice and uh, glass in between then here on this side we have another building uh, that i tried to come up with uh, with a wide facade and then have this industrial girdle structure in between and as a whole i quite like the way this came out i tried a similar thing with the last building we did in the last episode only with gray tones uh, instead of white and that uh, on the whole did not turn out as well as this one maybe also because here with the whites we have a bit more uh, variety than over there 
our final build in the building category here is the Nebo Hub, uh, which has this central UFO uh, shape uh, with the uh, four axes going out for tunnels. We never managed to have anything in the uh, overworld in uh, this direction, so that's why there is no tunnel over there and actually this is also the only proper uh, location to get out of the hub uh, because uh, in all other locations we just have uh, portals that are going back to the uh, overworld and the c design for this uh, was that basically I had different uh, designs for the different nether biomes and then of course uh, it depends a bit uh, if uh, uh, the thing the tunnel goes through uh, open space like here then it's uh, with uh, glass in the right color or if it's uh, actually uh, on the ground and uh, the the thing here is that I tried to uh, go with uh, with complement colors to the biome outside um, to have a bit of contrast, and I think this was a very good idea. Worked quite well. Uh, had a clear uh, structure and a pattern to it. Uh, so it was always clear uh, what tunnel, what type should go where. And for the first entry in our landscaping category, we are back here at the stable where something bad seems to have happened here to the backside. Uh, so uh, to explain that, I just put in a, a tornado. Uh, made out of glass and I think here especially the uh, lower portion uh, that turned quite uh, out well also the, the funnel up there the top part not so much I think I just spent not enough detail and time in it and it's it's way too small but connected with this all the area down here is uh, lit up so that there are no mob spawns during the day and there are quite a few uh, tricks how I managed to hide the light sources so I think this certainly goes also in the direction of landscaping. On the way over uh, to our main area, I had this retaining wall with some flower and grass in it. Of course, that's done by some uh, armor stand magic. Here on this side, we have more of the same going on. And I think that really adds a nice touch to it. Then the next thing over here at the opening to the uh, ocean uh, is this waterfall that I have created also once again with glass and uh, actually the uh, episode where I built this up that's one of the ones with the, with the most views. Uh, not exactly sure why that is, but I also made a shorter, more concise tutorial how to create waterfalls uh, in Minecraft with glass. Uh, so you should definitely check that out. While we are around here, we might as well take a look at the uh, cliffs uh, that I created. And I think here uh, this is a prime example of 
how my skill improved. I started with this wall, which is uh, very flat. It has some uh, slab and stair action going, but not that much detail. And then I worked my way around and you can see here on this side there is much more detail, more depth to it. And then of course, final touch, uh, the, uh, the dirt from above, um, which also reaches here uh, to the back. The way this is created is of course with uh, a row of coarse dirt. Now you could also use uh, rooted dirt. Um, here that uh, enderman can pick these blocks up and then uh, the grass might uh, come back in. I have uh, the uh, enderman picking up blocks uh, disabled, so that definitely helps in this regard. Here around the house there is also some landscaping going on, especially nice turned out these uh, grape vines with leaves and uh, uh, berries on uh, armor stands in there and also a few uh, apple trees that actually have apples in them. And then here over to this side we have a bit of an overgrown wilderness that is best viewed uh, from an aerial perspective here towards the uh, old refinery uh, building it really gets a bit nasty and in the process of uh, this whole series I built a few trees especially towards the end and this is the are the latest ones uh, not that uh, fancy uh, because they are all clumped together, so the details are not that noticeable. But let's check out the progression from the first tree that I made over here. And I think here quite a bit of detail went into it also with the... Uh, uh, roots down there but looking at it uh, it's basically just uh, some uh, some of these wood blocks leaves few fences uh, and that's it then the second tree uh, was created quite a bit later and uh, it is this one uh, here, uh, which has quite a bit more detail, uh, more fences, fence gates, a few cobwebs uh, to add to the uh, overgrown feeling. And then of course, uh, a bit of uh, scenery uh, down here. And in between this tree and those over there, there are uh, still a few uh, back here um, uh, near the uh, parking uh, garage. Uh, they are not that fancy either. They, I think they don't even have any, any fence gates. It's just a few uh, uh, thick branches and then wires. But I think uh, for what I wanted to achieve here, uh, that uh, turned out quite well. And with that, we are at the end of the 100th episode of this series and also this series as a whole because I have plans for starting a new one which will be a bit more focused on uh, the uh, technical aspects 
not so much the uh, the building side so maybe a bit of uh, the the building stuff that will come later on in the in the series uh, but uh, stay tuned stay subscribed and i will see you with a brand new series here on this channel so see you then goodbye